Have you ever noticed that your period seems to match up with your roommate, your sister, your best friend or even your coworker? Do you think it's a coincidence, a sign of bonding, a biological phenomenon or something else? And what causes it to happen? Hello and welcome to Curiosity, where we explore fascinating topics from history, science, culture and more. Today we're going to talk about something that many women have experienced or heard about, period sinking. That's when two or more women who live together or are close friends have their menstrual cycles at the same time or very close to each other. Period sinking is a popular belief that dates back to 1971, when a researcher named Martha McClintock published a study in Nature that claimed that women who lived together in a dormitory had their menstrual cycles become more synchronized over time. She suggested that this was due to pheromones, chemical signals that are released by the body and can affect the behavior and physiology of others. However, since then, many other studies have failed to replicate McClintock's findings or have found contradictory results. Some have even questioned the validity of her methods and data. In 2006, a new study and review of the literature made the assertion that women do not sync their menstrual cycles. This study collected data from 186 women living in groups in a dorm in China and found no evidence of synchronization. So why do so many women still believe in period sinking? Well, there are several possible explanations. One is that menstrual cycles are not perfectly regular and can vary in length and timing due to factors such as stress, illness, diet, exercise and medication. This means that sometimes two women may have their periods at the same time by chance or because they have similar cycles to begin with. Another explanation is that women tend to remember and report instances when their periods matched up with others and ignore or forget when they didn't. This is a cognitive bias known as confirmation bias, which means that we tend to look for and interpret information that confirms our beliefs and expectations. A third explanation is that period sinking is a social construct that reflects the cultural values and norms of women's relationships. Some women may see period sinking as a way of expressing their closeness, solidarity and empathy with other women. They may also use it as a source of comfort, support and humor during a time that can be challenging or unpleasant. So whether you believe in period sinking or not, the truth is that there is no conclusive scientific evidence to support it. Period sinking is more likely a myth than a fact. But that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the benefits of having friends who understand what you're going through and can share your experiences. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching Curiosity. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious.